My name is Abby Spendlove. I'm a visual artist. I'm based in Luton in Bedfordshire and my current exhibition is at the Broadway Gallery in Letchworth and it's titled Mediator. I've been working with ice in my practice for about 15 years now. I'm always changing the way that I'm experimenting with it. So the latest iteration of my ice work is working with silk, where I'm melting river water onto silk with textile links. It's always a, a sort of wonderful surprise to me to see the outcome from these making processes because when I set it up, I never know what's going to come out. When people have been to see the exhibition, they've talked about the silks and said, they look like jellyfish or children have said they feel like a mermaid in the space and it's lovely to bring people into the gallery space and see them respond to these basically abstract patterns in really different ways. We decided to really play around with the light in the space to create a really light space at one end where the natural light is and then to adapt the lighting throughout the show so that it gets darker and darker as you travel through the exhibition. At the end of this corridor space is a single piece of work which is on a light box and that's the single source of light down that corridor so it looks a bit like the light reflecting off the water that you would see in an underground tunnel. A lot of people have said to me who visited the exhibition that they find the space really calming and that they feel like that's really what they need at the moment sort of coming out of this global pandemic. There's lots of different making processes in the space and they all interact with each other in different ways and they all echo the patterns of nature in different ways. I'm about to start a period of research where I'm going to be working with a glaciologist to learn more deeply about ice and understand about ice and its relationship to the climate crisis. So I'm excited to see how that's going to change my work going forward. I'm also really interested in working more in an outside space so some of these standing glass pieces, some of the sculptural pieces, I'd like to explore how those might exist in an outdoor space or creating works to be in a different kind of landscape rather than just within the gallery.